Let's just talk about the top five Navy Fed credit limit increase hacks that nobody talks about. You know, the funny thing is everybody talks to you about how to increase your Navy Fed credit card limit, right? But nobody really talks about what really matters. And in today's conversation, I want to really address that. So don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the top five Navy Fed credit limit increase hacks that nobody talks about. So here is the steps, okay? I want to talk to you about the steps you need to take, and this actually uh, encompasses all the, the, the hacks I'm talking about. The first thing is deposits. You know, the funny thing is you want to increase your deposits at Navy Fed. Nobody talks about that. Listen, if you have a Navy Fed credit card and your goal is to make sure that you have a higher credit limit, you better give them something too. Give them some ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Give them some moolah, okay? It has to be a mutually beneficial relationship. I don't care how much how much you put in your account, but it has to be consistent, okay? The funny thing is, that the thing is, if you just maintain a very uh, skinny ass account with uh, Navy Fed, don't actually uh, think of them. Don't even uh, expect them to increase your credit limits that crazy. They probably will give you uh, some small, some small um, increase also. Like if you if you if you want to have a uh, ten thousand grand in credit limit, they probably give you uh, three hundred. You know why? Because your deposits are small. So I want you to really think about that. Okay, it's very important when we talk about actually establishing your, your relationship with Navy Fed. It has to be a mutually beneficial relationship. The I'm just kind of tired of people walking around and just asking, just kind of whining on social media. I want to have a higher credit limit, and I asked, uh, I, I asked Navy Fed, and they gave me a, a small ass limit. Hey, boss. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? I'm talking about you. You got to do something too so that they in turn can help you. So when we talk about increasing your deposit and Navy Fed, I want you to think about having multiple accounts. You want to have at least a checking account, a savings account. And if you have enough cash you want to park at the institution, you can probably think about, you know, IRAs. Think about a share certificate, a certificate of deposit, a money market account, and even a rainy day fund, right? You can have a rainy day fund. You can have an emergency fund. This is kind of cool for your assets. It's good for your budget. And most importantly, it's great for your Navy Fed relationship. And that's going to help you a lot get the high credit limit that you need and deserve. Because Navy Fed pays attention to that. They pay attention to deposit. <music> The second hack that nobody talks about, and I'm still talking about the top five Navy Fed credit limit increase hacks that nobody talks about, is it might sound to you counterintuitive, but it works like fantastically. And we have tested this time and again. It's the secured loan, secured loan uh, strategy. See, the funny thing is that you never thought about that, right? Well, the thing is, if you have, a, let's say you have a certificate with Navy Fed, and you, let's say you have a one thousand dollars or two thousand dollars in that in that account you want to get a share pledged loan you want to get a, a share a certificate pledge loan you know why because this actually will help you increase your FICO score which in turn will help you get the higher credit limit that you need so the first time you apply for the next time you apply you want to apply for a credit limit increase do the secure loan hack first okay and here is how it works you basically just get got it, it is a secure loan in other words, you have a 100% uh, chance of being approved, right? It is your money. It is your own money. So you take that that account as collateral, as collateral for the loan. You get the loan. You t you just turn it around. You just uh, for three months or four months, and you just uh, pay it back. You are getting a, a bump of 40 points, 50 points, 60 points. In some cases, you might get even a 100, 100 points bump because Navy Fed is going to report your payments to all the three credit bureaus. And guess what? That's just fantastic. That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, credit score points for you, right? 
wonderful and, and the, the funny thing is if you're able to do this twice or three times a year guess what you can bump your score by 200 points or 300 points boom that's what i'm talking about this is exactly what i'm talking about so when you apply this a secure loan strategy you can you realize you can start the year at around 500 and end it around 700 that's what i'm talking about boss I want you to do that. That's and, and the thing here is that it is your money. What I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to tell you here is what you want to use your money to work for you. Make your money work for you. Make your moolah work for you. Okay. Don't you let your your funds sit in the sit in there in the certificate accounts or in a share account at a Navy Fed and just trying to yeah. I'm just saving money. I'm saving money. Well, hey 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 hey. You are saving money, but that, that money should work for you. Don't you rely on uh, the 0.5%, the 0.00001% that Navy Fed gives you in terms of uh, interest. That's not where the money at. The money is at somewhere else. The money is at you making sure you use it as, as a share loan, as a share pledge loan, so that this money, this loan can help you bump up your credit score, which in turn, as I said before, helps you increase your credit limits. The third thing I want you to use, that this is a great hack, it works all the time, not just for Navy Fed uh, credit cards, but also for other credit cards, is full payments. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, the funny thing is people telling you, hey, listen, you can pay the minimum due every month. No, 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 I'm telling you, hey, listen, you want to pay the, the balance in full. If you can, of course. If you cannot, try to pay as much as you can. You know, well, one thing we have seen in our research, and we have been doing this for 20 years, credit card analysis, and not only business credit cards, but also um, individual credit cards. The, the cool thing is, if you make multiple payments a month, it's a lot easier. So what I, one thing I want you to do, when you get your Navy Fed credit card, you want to systematically, system, hear, hear me out, systematically make the minimum payment right away, right away. I don't care if you are somewhere just uh, in Acapulco chilling or dancing salsa. I don't care if you're somewhere just chilling and just uh, mm -mm, right away, right away. I want so if the minimum payment is if the minimum balance is uh, let's say um, one hundred dollars, I want you to systematically make that payment. Now you have three more payments to make. So we're talking about making multiple payments in a in a month, right? So you could probably make weekly payments. Okay, so what, what you want to do is you want to go to your Navy Fed account and you want to schedule those payments. So let's say you you have a, a limit of ten thousand dollars, right? You get your credit card. You have a three thousand dollars on the, on the card. It's outstanding. And Navy Fed say, listen, if we if you pay us one hundred dollars, we're good to go. One thing you want to do once you get the the invoice right away imme immediately, you want to uh, pay the one hundred dollars. Then one week later you want to maybe pay a 200 or 300 so what i'm trying to say here is that if you can't pay the full amount trying to pay as much as you can this will help you a lot okay it will help you a lot in terms of um, in terms of your FICO score which is ultimately the quintessential criterion that will help you get a credit limit increase asap okay this is important and one thing i want to do here i want to tell you also is that it's it's great to pay your credit card and balance the credit card balance in full every month because this helps a lot with something called your credit utilization ratio it has a fantastic impact on your cur okay but you know also if you are able to bring any past due accounts current that will be fantastic you can actually uh, apply for credit only when you when you, you use it that's also good uh, also great because it's going to help you reduce the amount of uh, new recent i mean recent accounts it's going to help you also uh, reduce the number of uh, credit inquiries <music> I'm here. I want to talk to you about something else, and you're gonna to love today. Uh, I'm I'm dropping a lot of gems today, man. I'm I'm just, whoo, cause you there? Yeah, okay. We're having fun here. The fourth hack I want you to talk about, I want you to think about, is your credit mix. Having a mix of credit counts for 10% of your credit score, but you know what? It has a fantastic ability. In your, it has a fantastic way to help you get the credit limit you need. And this is a Navy Fed credit limit increase hack that nobody talks about. Everybody tells you, hey, you know, you want to you want to give them a call. You want to call them. You want to uh, go to a branch. You want to beg them. You want to whine. <sighs> What's up with that? 
we are we are just done with this pity party of people walking around and just it and just begging Navy Fed for a credit limit increase. We're not begging. We are going to be strong. I'm I'm giving you the tools to be strong. Do your work and they will come begging for it for you. They will give you the cash you need without even you without you asking for it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's the thing you so when we talk about credit mix, you want to have a diversity of credit. Okay, when you have a diversity of a credit products that helps you a lot i mean obviously it, it, it only counts for 10 percent of your credit score but it has a monumental a monumental impact on your navy fed internal score which in turn has an impact on your ability to get the credit limit that you need and deserve boss grandpa grandma are you there are you there wake up i'm, I'm talking to you yeah you 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 niece nephew aunt i'm talking to you uncle i'm talking to you Okay, dad, mom, I'm talking to you. I want you to come around. That's what I'm. So you want to actually be in a position where you systematically, systematically diversify your credit. I'm talking about having credit cards, thinking about having maybe uh, some auto loans, some mortgages, some personal loans. Okay, student loans. If you are in the, uh, if you are in that category where you need right now to go back to school, think about home equity line of credit, personal line of credit. Okay. Listen, I'm not telling you to to get your ass up and get in, get into debt. I'm not asking you to uh, to borrow as much as you can. What I'm trying to say is if your job, if your goal ultimately is to boost your chances of getting the credit limit increase that you need and deserve, you got to be in a position where you diversify your credit, okay? I'm not asking you to uh, go borrow if you don't need the money. But if you do need the money, trying to diversify your sources of funding trying to diversify your sources of borrowing that's what i'm talking about okay that's what i'm talking about and another uh, hack that nobody talks about is your check systems file oh yeah this is a big one you didn't see it coming right you ain't seen that coming <laughs> oh man i'm just dropping a lot of gems I mean, you see the the thing is that there is a strong correlation between your navy fed membership and your check system file nobody ever talks about that but you know the funny thing is that there is an algorithm navy fed has an algorithm and we have first-hand experience we have first-hand knowledge of this they have a, an, an algorithm that crawls the, the check systems files continually so from the first day that your ass is a member of a navy fed from that day on they check your check systems every month okay so don't you try to play games with uh, other banks don't you try to play games with your checking accounts and savings accounts at, at other banks you know just by thinking hey you know i'm i'm gonna have a, a clean relationship with navy fed but with chase with citibank with the wells fargo with bank of america goes I, i'm gonna screw them I'm gonna run as as much overdraft as as many uh, as many uh, NSF checks, non-sufficient funds check. I'm, I'm just gonna play games. I'm I'm not going to maintain a positive history with them. Hey, boss. Whew. If you are in that position right now, I want you to cut it out. I want you to cut it out. Okay. I don't care if you're pissed. Don't get pissed. Be better. Okay. This is serious business here. Credit is serious business. Super serious business we're talking about making sure that you have the tools in place so that you can have the credit limit that you need from navy fed how about that okay that's more important than you trying to play games with the uh, other banks so if you are trying to play games with other banks what will happen is that your 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 records will be tarnished and navy fed will see that they'll catch up on that okay and that will put a blemish on your record and navy fed they're never going to tell you though they will never tell you but this will impact your uh, internal score okay and the next time you apply for a credit limit increase you're gonna you you will realize that they are just giving you a small small ass amount if you're asking for five grand they're giving you a two hundred dollars and you and you walk around and, and telling people i can't believe i have a FICO score of 728 i have a FICO score of 805 and whatnot and i can't believe they're giving me a, only two hundred dollars you're going right it to, to vent you go on facebook to to vent come on this is because among other things, you're not paying attention to your banking relationship with other institutions. I'm telling you right now, okay? That's what it is. I'll be right back, right after this, don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We're actually having a conversation about the top five Navy Fed credit limit increase hacks that nobody talks about. So I'll give you the, the top five. So we have deposits, secure loans, full payments, credit mix, check systems. Now I want to talk to you. I want to give you pro tips and help you make a decision, okay? So what, what are the pro tips? The pro tips here are, are that when you apply for Navy Fed credit limit increase and your ass gets denied, this could be for a couple of reasons. And I want you to pay attention because what we're going to do is we're going to do a, re a reverse strategy. We're going to implement a reverse strategy. So if you know the, the pitfalls, you just need to avoid them. You just need to have a, a good strategy to avoid them so that you always get approved. Okay, that's the goal, boss. So make sure that you are not late on uh, any other any credit cards within the past 12 months. I'm talking about Navy Fed credit cards or any other credit card, okay? Make sure that you maintain a low balance on uh, credit cards relative to your credit limits. We are speaking about what? Having a low CUR, having a low credit utilization ratio, okay? And don't open too many accounts within the past one or two years, okay? And don't have too much available credit on two or too many credit cards. Because if you have too much available credit, why are they giving you uh, additional uh, credit limits? Why are they giving you additional credit, okay? You got to use the whatever you have for them to give you more, okay? And don't have too many uh, recent applications for credit. This sends the wrong signal to Navy Fed. They're probably thinking that you are just des desperate uh, or even worse, you are in financial trouble, which both each of uh, these scenarios is not really good for you, okay? And uh, if your account is too new, you might not get the credit limit increase you're looking for. I mean, you've been around uh, for, you've been around for maybe three months or six months, and you're just like, you know, really jumping around it and wanting a credit limit increase. This ain't happening. You have to wait a little bit, okay? Be patient, okay? If you have already received a credit limit increase, let's say in the last three months also, you gotta wait, okay? Be patient. Okay, if you have a record of low monthly payments, this also can work adversely against you. Okay, if your credit score is too low, this also could be adverse suit to your uh, ability to get the credit limit increase that you need and deserve. Okay, and you, if you have some recent major delinquencies on your credit reports, those also could be could have a detrimental effect. So, where's what's the point here? My point is that you, I just gave you a whole gamut. A whole gamut of factors that limit your ability to get the credit limit increase. So your goal is to make sure you just stay away from those. That's all you got to do, boss. Okay, here is the decision you have to make. So the decision is what? You got to think about something for the short term and something for the long term. Okay, what I'm trying to say is when you want to... Uh, when you want when you want a Navy Fed credit limit increase, chances are you you are gonna get it if you have a, a good financial life, okay? But if something happens and you don't get it, you need to think about a strategy. You gotta think about a short term strategy and a long term strategy. In in the short term, in the long run, first you want to cut back on spending, okay? The thing here is you probably you're probably living beyond your mean your means, right? If you have a high DTI, a high debt to income ratio this is probably because you are you are just spending uh you're spending too much so you want to cut back on your spending you want to pay your bills on time i'll go back to what i said earlier it's important to have uh to, to have full payment if you can but if you cannot you want to have a plan whereby you are paying your bills on time okay and use your card regularly okay whatever card you currently have with uh, whether you have the go the Go and Navy Fed Go Rewards card, you have the Cash Rewards card, you have the, the Platinum card, you have the Amex, the Navy Fed uh, Amex card, whatever card you have, make sure that you use it. If you don't, you, you got to use it regularly. So they have to see some activity on the card for them to bump you up in credit limits. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. And m continually, okay, you want to get a copy of your credit reports and you want to check for errors. What I'm trying to say is when you get the, and the thing is you can actually order your credit reports from uh, for free from uh, annualcreditreport.com. It's a website that Congress has mandated that gives uh, every um, every credit card, uh, every applicant, every uh, borrower the ability to check their credit score and report once a year. Now, if you if you're just like me, you don't want to wait for every 12 months to see what's going on on your credit reports. You want to actually uh, sign up for free services, free FICO score providers such as uh, Credit Karma, such as your current uh, 
credit card actually navy fed actually navy fed has a has a, a service whereby you can check your fico score for free okay so use that service you can also use credit karma you can also use wallet hub you can also use a nerd wallet you can also use credit credit wise there are a lot of players out there okay and all of all of them allow you to have to see to have let's say to have a copy of your fico reports from uh, experian TransUnion, and equifax if you go to annualcreditreport.com now if you go to the other players you might get only one or two of the credit bureau reports but hey anyway it is a fantastic development for you right all right so i just shared with you the top five navy fed credit limit increase hacks that nobody's talking about so i give you the steps okay and it's important to think about deposits think about secured loans have a full payment plan in place your credit mix very important take care of that and uh, your check systems file must be really really must be blemish free okay and i finished by giving you a few pro tips and helping you in terms of the decision you have to make thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it i will see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous